Hi everyone, Steph here from the Northeast um, for this month's November's Beekeepers Buzz and I'm with Pam. Hi everybody. We're here in my apiary today to discuss how I'm going to overwinter our hives in Northeast Pennsylvania. You got to see how I overwintered mine and um, so I thought I'd come over here and watch Kim when she overwintered hers. All Thanks right. for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Of course. Okay, so in this hive we had combined with a weaker hive. So I'm going to go in here, see if I need to remove this box. But I am going to add a hot box onto the top of this hive for winter. So, yeah. well, I might not be removing this. <laughs> <laughs> they are up there. They are busy up there. Yes. You know, we had talked about feeding your hive, but can you tell me what you did? Because you're not actually going to put food on your hive this year, are you? No, actually, this hive is going to be all set, at least for the beginning of winter. Um, we've already tried lifting these boxes. Okay. It's nearly impossible for me anyway. And now that they've already, um, you know, filled up this, it looks like they probably have plenty up in this one too. Um, I think they're going to be set. So... Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to be good. Okay, good. So I'm not going to add any type of feed. Um, if anything, I will add feed in maybe February. Okay. Get a warm day in February or even in January. I'm going to come out and check. I will take a quick peek or feel the boxes. Now, first of all, when using a hot box, you'll want to remove the inner cover because you won't be needing that with your hot box. And I'm also going to be removing the hive beetle traps. We Finally. don't want extra <laughs> liquid in there in the winter. And there's not really too many in there right now. Right, because that'll add that extra moisture right. to the hive. Um, now this one probably don't want to leave on either. So I'm going to remove the beetle towel. I don't want bees to be stuck there all winter. All right, so we have already done a check of this hive. We know that it's healthy. We know we have a queen. There is brood again. Um, there was a brief break without brood, but she is laying again. We see a lot of drones out of the hive. They look dead to me. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just put on the hot box and scrape off any hive beetles that we see. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. So the hot box is great because it comes with everything that you need. And the insulation, you can see the screen right here. The insulation is already in here. You're going to want to have the holes facing front. And then you'll want to have the four little shims there up top. Now, if you were feeding food, you would simply just place the food right on top of your uppermost box. I'm just going to go ahead and stick my hot box right on top here. And then after that, I will be putting on the moisture board that comes with that. Anytime during winter, if you feel you've had a lot of snow, you feel like there could be extra moisture in there, you get a little bit of a warmer day, maybe 30 to 40 degrees um, on a sunny day. You can always come out, check this moisture board if it's wet. So now I am going to add the other two wooden shims that come with the hot box. You'll put one up front, one in the back, and then simply put your telescoping cover or any outer cover you use right on top. And then it will sit right on top like this. There will be a little bit of ventilation around the top of the hot box uh, with the moisture board. That's okay. We want the moisture, we want the heat to come up and the moisture to be caught up in the hot box. Right. And not raining down on the heat. So this is exactly how you would want to have it. And then you would simply strap it up as you normally would. We like to use straps to hold everything in place. It can get very windy around here. And we already have our mouse guards on. Mm -hmm. So we will double check those when the weather really starts turning, make sure they're secure. Yes, that. Okay, so I guess that wraps it up literally um, for your hives if you're gonna be wrapping them. And right, so yeah, I think you had wrapped yours, right? I did wrap okay. mine. I used an insulating wrap on my hive, um, and that's fine too. You can use a already made um, cozy or just hive cover. Yep. So that's 
that's it, I guess. Oh, well, I did want to mention that um, at some point I will probably add an Easy On Hive cover. Mm. I like those because they are Velcroed for, yeah. you know, easy removal if you need to. I don't feel where I'm living that I need to have one on there all winter long. I know some of you may be in some extra cold regions yeah. where you would want it on all winter. So when I know we're gonna get any type of really cold weather, I will come out and wrap it and then take it off. We, our weather can fluctuate in the winter time. So we do sell those, they're available, and um, I think it's a great option. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for showing me how your sure. setup is going to happen this year. And guys, listen, if you have any questions, you can always hop over to our website and also on our app, and you can reach out to our friend, Stella. She is our virtual beekeeping assistant and she's always there 24 seven to help you. So when we're not, you can give her a reach out and see what she has to say. Absolutely. You can always give us a call. Mm -hmm. um, we would be happy to discuss winterizing options with you. And we have a lot of different winterizing products available that we could talk to you about if you have any questions or you could simply leave us a comment below if you have a a question you wanted to ask okay. and we would be happy to answer that for you winter can be tough winter can be tough and guys remember um we also have a plant identifier you're probably not going to be seeing a whole lot of plants right now but spring is coming there's always hope so check out the plant identifier on our app also get over to our facebook group and join our vietnam lake beekeeping community we'd love to see you over there we already have had some great questions about winterizing now that we're in November and we have actually had some questions about oxalic acid and when's the best time to use that. And I think end of November, uh, even into December. So we plan on talking about that next month. Absolutely. So uh, as Kim said, special shout out to Tim in New Jersey. We know that you watch our videos. Um, so we want to say special hello to you. And we will touch on that oxalic acid like we spoke to you about in person. It was so great seeing you, Tim. Yeah, so please leave us a comment. We'd love to give you a shout out and yeah. talk about whatever you had asked. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.